Hello, good people. This video was created at the beginning of the 2020 pandemic. Hello, my name is Sherry Shine. I am the owner and designer for Sharika Originals Handcrafted Jewelry. It's been a while since I've done a live because I've been lazy. You know, we're all on lockdown and I'm in the group of, of people who, who they want to stay home. So I've been doing my best to try to stay home. I did have to go to North Carolina to um, take care of my grandchildren, but um, my, my children were able to work the situation out so that uh, I could come home. They felt that it was better for me to be at home. I want to tell you why I create jewelry. You know, we've up until now, I have been so busy. And now I always say, oh, I wish I had time to do this and I wish I had time to do that. But <laughs> now I have, now I have lots of time. Um, one of the reasons um, that I create jewelry is that I have always uh, wanted to be creative from, from when I was a little girl. Uh, I used to love quilts. You know, back in that day, uh, everybody had handmade quilts. And I wanted to make a quilt. So I went around, and I didn't have any fabric. I was probably in first grade, maybe. And I went through my mom's house, and I cut out little squares of fabric out of her curtains. And I said I was going to make a quilt. But, you know, of course, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to sew or anything. And then when my mom saw what was going on, she kept seeing pieces out of her curtains, she got me. <laughs> she got me for that. But I told her I wanted to make her a quilt. And I never made that quilt for my mom until after she passed. Because as it turns out, quilt making is not really my thing. Um, but after she passed, I did do a memorial wall hanging for her. So, you know, I finally did make the quilt for her. But anyway, I started creating back then in, uh, in like fourth grade, my best friend, one of my best friends taught me how to crochet, and that was great. And then in eighth grade, we, um, we learned to sew, and oh man, that opened up a whole world of creativity. Because you know, back then, you know, we didn't have a, enough money to buy the latest clothes and all that, but boy, when I learned how to sew, it was on then. I always had something that was awesome. I always had something that was different because I never wanted to have what everybody else had and, you know, wear what everybody else wore. So I always made something different for myself and people would copy off of what I did. And, you know, life, life went on and on and on. And I, I said, you know, even though I want to be a creator, I better get a real job. So I got a real job. Um, and as, as, as you know, on lots of those jobs, you work really hard. You think you're going to, you know, get promoted and all of that. But some of that stuff didn't happen. And I was letting it really stress me out. I was, doing, I was working two jobs. I was saving them all of this money. But they weren't, they weren't giving me what I wanted. So I, I was just really stressed out. I was stressed to the point where I couldn't even even sleep at night. I would be up walking the floor at night. You know, I had bills and, you know, I needed more money. That's why I wanted those promotions and none of that was happening for me. And I discovered, um, I was at Michael's one day and um, I discovered some material to make jewelry. And I really didn't have very much money, but I spent a few dollars on some materials to make jewelry. And I started making earrings. And what happened is when I would wake up at night and couldn't sleep, I would start to make earrings. And that would calm me down enough and then I would be able to get some sleep and, and get up and go to work the next day. I started wearing my earrings at work and people started noticing, noticing them and you know wanting to buy them. And I was just so, I mean, you know, the fact that somebody would pay me money for something that I made that was really new to me, and I just really, really enjoyed that. So I, I really got into making the jewelry and, you know, going to different places to sell. And after a while, I really didn't care about getting the, the promotion that I was trying to get. You know, I went to work every day, and I did my job, but I, I wasn't just, like, killing myself, you know, trying to prove something to somebody that I was worthy of a promotion. And, uh, you know, 
what? After I didn't care about that promotion, of course I got it then because that's how life works. Life is like that. When you let go of something, then it'll come to you if you're supposed to have it. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for watching. Anyway, that's how Sharika Originals was born, is I started to, to sell my earrings and, and uh, make a little extra money. And, you know, and everybody needs a, a little side hustle. I tell everybody they need to have a little side hustle. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. One lady told me you always need your money to come from three, at least three different ways. So if one way dries up, you have the others. So that, that's kind of something that I've always, always believed in. Have my money coming from at least three ways. Okay. All right. Um, that was how Sharika Originals was born. And uh, my daughter and I worked in that business part-time for, for a long time. Then life changed and we moved from California back, back home to Florida. And I really wasn't able to... Uh, make my jewelry like I like I thought I would be able to. I, w I, I wasn't able to go out and sell like I thought I was going to. So I went through a period of some years where I didn't do very much in my jewelry business, but what I did is I continued to, to collect materials. You know how you say, when I get so-and-so, I'm going to do this, so you buy this thing and you just kind of put it somewhere? So I have like a house full of <laughs> jewelry making materials. <laughs> but life changed again. And when life changed again, I was able to be free to go back into my, my jewelry business full time. So that's where I am now. I am working in my jewelry business full time. And I I make earrings no matter what, whether I get to go sell them or whether I don't sell them. I'm going to make jewelry because that's what I do. That's what I love. That's what calms me down. That's what gives me peace. And I love it when I see people who really, really like my stuff. So that's another thing. It's, it just, it boosts your self-esteem. So I encourage everybody, anybody to find that thing that you really, really love. That thing that gives you joy and gives you peace and just, you know, just, just, it's, it's soul healing. It really is. If you can find something that is really soul healing for you, that's going to take you a long way. Hey, man, how are you? Um, so that's about it. Um, I, I'm at the point now in my business where because of what's going on with this coronavirus, I have got to learn how to be better with social media. So, um, you know, I, I have some help. I have a, a coach and um, I'm just going to continue to to try to sell online because I really love selling face to face. I love it when somebody can pick up my jewelry and, and take a look at it and and hold it up and see how it's going to look on them. I love that. But I don't know what the future is going to hold. I don't know whether we're going to be able to go back to business as usual. Another thing that, that um, I am th thinking about doing is some, some pe couple people asked me about um, helping them learn how to make jewelry. And I would love to do that. So I want to know how many people would be interested in, in attending a jewelry class? Um, we can do it online. I would be able to send you the materials that you need and give you some pre-instruction. And then we would uh, get like on a Zoom um, conference and learn how to make some jewelry. So if you would be interested in that, in something like that, let me know. I would be happy to do that. Because like I said, entrepreneurship is something that I have, I've really, really pushed. I've had, you know, a few people in my life that I've started in different businesses. I started, I started my sister in being the candy lady. She used to sell candy out of her house. I had a couple of uh, young people that um, I invested in. Uh, I bought them, you know, I set them up with selling different things like uh, candy bars and, 
and chips and stuff just to make a little extra money while they were in school. And some people were really, really good at it, and other people ate up all their profit. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's the thing. I I I just really would love to see people get their little side hustle because you need it. You need it. All right. Well, if you have any questions, put them down below. I am Sherry Shine. My business is Sharika Originals Handcrafted Accessories. And as always, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.